Hello everybody, this is Tim Brzezinski. In this screencast, I'm going to quickly show you how to use iReady's Fraction Models tool. And we'll see some examples of how we can use it within problems that are in the iReady Classroom curriculum here. All right, that you'll see on the left side. So the Fraction Models tool can be found in the teacher toolbox in iReady here. Students have access to this too when they log into iReady on their Chromebooks. They can actually just see that you'll see the icon that says tools on there and they could access it. To, solve, uh, to help them solve problems conceptually and wrestle with concepts conceptually here. All right, so we'll click on the Fraction Models tool, we'll open it up, and we'll take a peek here. All right, now this is a very powerful tool in iReady here. We have three, we have three of them here. We have, uh, this is the Adding Subtracting Fractions Virtual Manipulative right here. This one here, the second one is the Comparison of Fractions Manipulative, and the third one uh, is we can use when we want to multiply fractions. So let's start with adding and subtracting. Again, this one taken out of uh, one of the units in iReady right here, right? Two people painting a fence, right? Someone paints three tenths of the fence, another one paints four tenths. What fraction of the fence do they paint all together? All right, so here we can actually use these up and down arrows to break up the number one into uh, equally sized intervals. Obviously we want tenths here, so we'll hit that um, the appropriate number of times. And then we can move this circle to start shading in the rectangles there, or we could also start clicking on rectangles as well. That also works. So three tenths right there. That's Josie. Margot paints four tenths of it. So we can go ahead and uh, illustrate tenths here. And we can have Margot paint one, two, three, four tenths here. Now I want you to see here, I'm going to unclick those again. Look at the rectangle at the bottom here. See that blue rectangle is shaded right here. But now I'm actually adding to it. I'm adding more tenths to the picture here. And the final sum is literally the number right over here. But now to have students wrestle with this and think, wow, what's three tenths plus four tenths? Right? Hopefully they, hopefully they don't say seven twentieths, right? But to help them wrestle with this conceptually, we can actually uh, have them play right here and see, well, can we partition this bottom rectangle in such a way so that it's like, you know, uh, so that the end of that uh, orange rectangle lies on a nice white line here? We could try it. it. Hasn't happened yet, but let's see. Let's give it a peek and aha. Looks like it's right here, right? I mean, I see 10 tenths is one. Notice it has the same length as one right there but it looks like we have seven tenths. That's uh, shaded there, okay? Now we also could have used the comparison tool as well, which is the second one in sequence here. So all we need to do is uh, hit the sum, we can make a denominator of tenths here. Now it's starting to get, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, see what I mean? And then uh, right here, so we could shade one, two, three. And the problem actually says that uh, the other person starts at the other end. So we can literally uh, compare these two, and we can actually start, let's break it up in the, oops, wrong way. Let's break this up in the tenths again, and we could actually shade four tenths from the other end, right? Now this is a comparison tool, but we can actually, uh, actually hit this icon right here to kind of merge the two on top of each other. Check it out. How much is shaded now? And hopefully that's a powerful tool to help kids see that seven tenths have been shaded. Okay? Again, these manipulatives are powerful. It's all on how we use them, right? But let's take a peek and refresh this here. And let's go, uh, yes, I want to clear my work. Let's take a look at some other already uh, exercises here that we can uh, model here. All right? Uh, let's go back. Let's go to this one. All right, and again, here's an example with adding fractions with unlike denominators. Maggie paddles her kayak a half a mile to an island, and then she paddles four-fifths of a mile to a beach. How far does she uh, paddle her kayak and all? So we can do a half, right? And we can try to add four-fifths, right? One-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths. Oh, look, the sum is bigger than one. Kids can have that, see that right there, right? And now, we have to somehow partition this in such a way so that, you see what I mean? So that that sum there is kind of uh, nice, if you will. So let me hit this uh, plus there. So the denominator we use is probably not gonna be two, definitely not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, eight, nine. Ooh, 10 looks like it's good, right? So you see here, students can actually start having these conceptual discoveries of what, what should that common denominator be, 
right, when we want to add those two fractions together here. They can have aha moments using this virtual manipulative right here, right? And it looks like the sum is uh, 13 tenths or 1 and 3 tenths, right? Uh, if you will, right there. Let's take a look at subtracting. I think that one's next, right? So let's see here. Subtracting fractions. Let me clear this out. Yes, we do. All right. Gavin has two-thirds of a pint of water in his water bottle. He drinks half a pint. How much water is left now? Well, let's see. Let's model two-thirds, right? We want to take away a half. And so see here now, the key is to hit this icon here. Here we're adding the fractions. Just click on this toggle to subtract them. So it goes over here. See now we got what we have right here. Now we need to simply look for, we simply need to look, find that common denominator that's kind of kind of work, right? Uh, we definitely, uh, well, probably not two. Ooh, two thirds looks like, would it be, would it be two thirds? Well, two thirds is the end here. We want to find one that goes right here, right? And then not, Fourths, fifths, ah, one sixth. Oh yeah, there's four sixths and two thirds, and three sixths here, right? So this will help. This can help students have that aha moment uh, as they work, perhaps within the try discuss connect uh, routine, or uh, on exercises even afterwards. All right. Again, very powerful manipulative here. I love it. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, even for comparing fractions, I think it's kind of a com you know comparison we could put side by side here. Again, we can use the comparison tool. This is the one on the right here, right? Five eighths versus five tenths. So right here, we could break this up into tenths. And we could break this one up into eighths. Whoops, probably should go the other way. Right? So we have five eighths, one, two, three, four, five eighths. Click right in there. And we have one, two, three, four, five tenths, right? Gosh, it's pretty close. But again, to compare them, we want to do it uh, right here. Okay, and ooh, it looks like the pink is a little bit bigger than the um, than the blue. So five eighths definitely has to be bigger than five uh, five tenths, right? We can start to. And if you notice here on the number line here, I know that the my screen is squished here, but you see here, you can see the locations of the dots as well. All right, again, pretty powerful. All right, and again, we can compare and contrast the. Uh, anytime using this model. We can also use circles too. Uh, I love fraction circles as well. I think they're pretty powerful. Let's separate them, but you, we could also have modeled it this way. See how we have 5 eighths and, uh, where is it? We have 5 eighths and we want to get 5 tenths here. So again, you could just click in these sectors here to shade and unshade, right? Uh, 5 tenths, here we have 5 eighths, and we can hit this tool to try to compare and have the students draw their own conclusions, right? And I believe uh, working with this virtually will definitely help them on paper as well. Again, the, again, we should not throw the baby out with the bathwater. This technology has a place. These virtual manipulatives have a place. You just have to be used, uh, used wisely uh, with students. You can use this to have them formatively check the results of their own work they do on paper. After they complete some problems in iReady Classroom, you can have them come here and check the results of their work afterwards, all right? So uh, let's take another one here. All right, now we'll explore multiplying fractions. That's this last one right here. All right, so with multiplying fractions, what we want to do, uh, it says Grayson lives four-fifths of a mile from the park. He has already walked three-quarters of the way to the park. Oh, I guess, I guess he's walked three-quarters of four-fifths, right? So what does that actually look like? Well, we can ask students, what does four-fifths of a mile look like? Well four-fifths of something, right? I mean, well, it's one, it's, we can actually hit these buttons to shade or hit those uh, things there. One-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, right? But he only, he walked three-quarters of that. So we can now work in the other direction to show, now we break it up in halves, into thirds, and into quarters, right? So we have one-fourth of four-fifths, right? Two-fourths of four-fifths, three-quarters of four-fifths, right? And here it actually shows uh, the answer, which, you know, it's there, but again, I believe students should work this out, trying to draw on paper first before even coming here. But obviously right here, right, we have it broken up, we have this whole, uh, you know, rectangle broken up into twentieths, right? And so, but I love how this helps students conceptually see that, let me just uh, take that away, that here we have three-fourths, three right? 
here we have, I'm sorry, here we have four fifths. And now we want to take, we want to break that shaded region up into four equal pieces. So we break, cut it in half, cut it in thirds, cut it in quarters, and take one quarter of that, two quarters of that, three quarters of that. And kids can conceptually see now, wow, that's 12 twentieths. That's, uh, that's shaded there. Okay? So that's how we can use the, uh, the, the multiplication tool there. And uh, yeah, so same thing with um, this problem here. Eat two thirds of the leftover pizza, two, you know, three quarters, uh, two thirds of three fourths, right? We can go ahead and refresh. Brandon's mother left him three quarters of three fourths of a pizza. So, oh, we can go ahead and just simply cut that pizza up into four pieces. And now we want to cut those three. So one, two, three. And now Brandon eats two thirds of what's left. So imagine those aren't there. We cut it into thirds. Here's one third of everything. Here's two thirds, right? And it looks like uh, he ate half the pizza, or six twelfths, all right? So again, that's the iReady, uh, these are the iReady fraction tools here. Very powerful. Um, used, uh, when used effectively in the classroom, they can help powerfully enhance students' conceptual understanding within Try Discuss Connect and also within problems they're solving within iReady Classroom.